Second point is that, um, of course, uh, anything like that as, um, as major an item as, as this one is, the purchase of the mine, of course there will be those that are in favor and those that are not in favor. And which brings us to point number two, and, and that is uh, the, the NECARE's um, stated position that they are opposing the, the purchase of the mine. And uh, the NECARE, they took the initiative to uh, bring a resolution to the chapter. And that resolution was uh, introduced back in June, I believe it was. And the resolution, I will, I will provide copies uh, here, uh, uh, hopefully pretty quick. But uh, the resolution states that um, the Shubrak chapter supports the neck hair's opposition to the purchase of the mine. A uh, little bit of a contradictory term there, but uh, I think it's clear enough that uh, the Shubrak chapter is being asked to um, support the neck hair and the neck hair's opposition to the purchase of the mine. Okay, so here in June, um, the, the neck here presented the resolution, they gave their discussions, and uh, BHP was here as well as representatives from APS, and they, um, they, they each um, gave their presentations on, on why the opposition and then uh, why the nation should purchase the mine. So we, we had that discussion and at the end, because again, it, it's, it's uh, such a major issue that uh, we don't want to rush into any kind of uh, decision. We feel that uh, the, the people, the constituents here need to um, have a as as much of an understanding as possible on the on the issue, and that that requires information from, from both uh, parties. And uh, in the in the discussions, you had um, uh, a couple points were raised that. Um, that stood out, and one is that uh, that the neck hair has tried to meet with uh, BHP Mines for over a year. I think that was the verbiage, and the the um, the uh, response to that from BHP. Uh, was that uh, we we would like to meet with the, uh, the NICAR. So there provides the, the groundwork, or at least uh, the, the grounds uh, for a, a continued discussion between um, the two parties. So with that, um, with those statements being made, um, the, the, the people here, uh, at least um, through myself, uh, stated that if the if BHP mine and the NECARE are open to meeting together outside of the chapter meeting, then, then that's what should happen. Um, the, the intent of that meeting would be to talk and to see if there is, at least in my sense, yeah, at least in my, my, uh, my interpretation, is that uh, to see if there is any room 
for to establish some common ground. And uh, uh, again, I don't know what that common ground might be. Uh, I know, we all know that the neck care has some very specific objections, uh, some very um, clear reasons why they are opposed to the mine purchase. And uh, likewise, from the company's standpoint, um, they, um, they're also uh, very clear on why they believe that the Navajo Nation needs to buy the mine. Okay, so in that, in that discussion, um, is there room where, is there room, is there any room somewhere that there can be some, um, some consensus uh, to agree on certain points of concern? And if not, at least to agree to disagree? And uh, so that's, that's what uh, set up this discussion here this morning. Um, the NECARE uh, membership elected to have the meeting in this format here, yeah, uh, to keep the, the discussion between the NECARE and BHP open uh, in, in public. And, uh, BHP didn't have any any real concern with that uh, forum, so that's that's what we're doing here this morning. So I want to go ahead and call on the NECARE, since they are the sponsor of that resolution, to uh, uh, give their presentations, perhaps uh, why they want to. Um, have this resolution approved, and of course, then we would have um, the response from BHP. Okay, we do have a time issue here, so I would say from this point, we have approximately one hour. Okay, um, if BHP and the NECAR can make their presentations uh, within 15 minutes each, we should be able to uh, make some make some headway here.